Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm going to be going over a quick tip that you can use on how to calculate quartiles and this is part one. I'll also do second part on how to calculate percentiles. So let me open up an example template. I've started to fill this out. This is the sales quota commission template for determining sales commission payouts for employees based on sales volumes. So I won't really, really go over this actual template very much, but I'll link to some other videos I have that go over more specifically how to use this template and what it works for. But for now, I've just added, like there's a summary page and I've added some columns to the right here just so we can do the example. We're going to be looking at a salary range. I just have one range. We have a min, mid, and max, and we're going to be breaking it this range into quartiles, which is basically splitting from 75 to 100,000. We're going to split it up into 25% sections. So it kind of goes with the employee example employees we have listed here that are we're doing the range on the TTC or on target earnings. Okay, so I've added this information here to show you the formulas to get the quartile information. But first, let me go back and do another visual that's going to help to understand how quartiles work. So the formula itself is going to give us one number, but each quartile is actually a range. So, so I've added here at the top, you'll see first quartile is going to be zero to 25% or somebody that falls within the 25th percentile or below is considered in the first quartile. And then so each quartile is an increment of 25%. So then we go 26 to 50th, 51st to 75th, and then the fourth quartile is 76 to 100 percentile. So, so that's kind of how we're breaking up the range. So let me get back into the other worksheet and we will go over the formula right now. Okay, so to start with quartile one, we're going to want to use the quartile.inc function when we are working with salary ranges. You'll see there's an exc, that means exclusive. We want inclusive, inc. It's just the way they treat the min and the max basically, but I can show you what it does here in a second. So you'll type in quartile.inc and then parenthesis, and then we want to highlight the array, which is the range of numbers. If you have your data um, in a column, then you would highlight the column. And then I'm going to do comma, and I want the first quartile, so I'm just going to type one. You'll see that we could also do zero for the minimum value, four for the max, well, we already know the min and the max because we have a range. If we didn't have a salary range and you just had a lot of data and you wanted to know the min and max, then I guess you could use those. But for this purpose, we really are just going to use the first, second, and third. So I'm going to close parenthesis and that gives me the top of quartile one. So like I showed in the first, the merit worksheet that had the ranges in it, the quartile is a range. So the minimum is actually going to go here. We already know the minimum. So anybody falling within 75 to 81 to 50 is, we can say that is quartile one. And then, so moving on to quartile two, we're going to do the same thing. We're putting it in the, the max value. So we're going, really it's saying it's, like to and from or 26 to 50th. So the top of the second quartile is the 50th percentile or the median. And then it's the same thing. We're just going to highlight the range and then a comma. And then now I'm in quartile two and it even says here two is the median or 50th percentile. So we're just going to do that. The next one, same thing, we're just doing the third quartile. 
And then we know what the max is because we have it right here, so we don't really need to do the formula. Okay, so what are we missing here? Basically, any values between 81,250 to 87,500. So you could either group it this way or just add a 1 to it. That way it helps to explain the range between each quartile. So that's it. And then if you had had an additional salary range, say there was another one, you could just drag these formulas, except not the min and the max. I didn't have formulas in those. But as I drag that down, then it gives me the ranges of the quartiles for that second grade. So quartile one, would be a little bit different depending on the range that we're looking at. So that's one way you could use uh, the quartile formula in Excel is to group your salary ranges into separate quartiles and a couple practical examples of how we could use this is looking at the employees each employee's salary, see where they fall within which quartile, and maybe you could have comp guidelines or HR guidelines that, you know, if someone's new in their role, they'd be recommended in quartile one or quartile two. If somebody's a high performer or exceed expectations, maybe you'd try to target quartile three or four. So that's one way you could use these these quartiles. And, and then I think quartiles are also used a lot in an academic setting, maybe if you have a lot of student grades. And so they rank in percentiles and probably quartiles too. If you're using the quartile formula for something else, I'd love to hear what else you would use it for. And that would be interesting to see other use cases, but I've seen it mostly with HR and compensation since that's what my background is in. That's what I've used it for. I did want to mention the, the inclusive and exclusive, the formula here. Let me just show you what it does if we used the other formula. So both of, in both of these examples, I'm using this quartile.inc which means an inclusive. If I were to change this, I just copied the formulas above. If I were to change this instead of ink to exclusive, EXC, then it gives us a different number. It gives us the actual minimum of the range. So that's kind of where it affects the min and the max formulas I've seen. So that's not as helpful if you're trying to work with data like a salary range. I believe it still works for quartile two, but I'm just gonna replace it so we can see. So yeah, we get the same number for inclusive or exclusive quartile two. And then let's just do quartile three. Yeah, for quartile three, we're getting 80, which is the max. There may be other cases where you want to use the exclusive formula, but for a salary range, that's why um, I would use the inclusive or the INC version of this, this formula. So I hope that helps and stay tuned for the next video well, where I'll go over how to identify by employee what quartile they fall in. So I just have some sample data here. So if these were in grade A or, or grade B, looking at their salary, we can do formula using the percentile rank to determine which quartile they're in. So look out for that one next. And also don't forget, I do have some free resources you can find over here at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. So we have a free HR and compensation metrics cheat sheet, as well as some small business templates and some rental property management templates and a free guide to get started with Excel with some different videos you can look at. And I will also link to the sales 
commission quota template and also the other videos I have that go over these tabs and pages. There's three different videos that go over sales commission. So if that is of interest to you, I will link to that as well. And until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets. Thanks. Bye.